All right, welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the expansion of a function using the Maclaurin series. The Maclaurin series is actually a theorem that helps us to expand the function in ascending powers of x. And the expansion is centered at the point x equal to zero. This must be noted, okay? So the Maclaurin series of a function f of x is given by f of x is equal to x to the power of 0, f of 0, all over 0 factorial, plus x to the power of 1, f prime of 0, all over 1 factorial, plus x to the second power, f double prime of 0, all over 2 factorial plus x to the third power f triple prime of 0 all over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth power f 4 of 0 all over 4 factorial plus till infinity okay so we call this the Maclaurin series expansion of a function f of x. Let's reduce this. x to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times f of 0 is f of 0. 0 factorial is 1. Okay, so everything here is actually equal to f of 0. Plus x to the power of 1 is x. Then the f prime of 0. 1 factorial is 1, so we may not need to write over 1. Then all other terms will follow, and this is what we have. So we call this the Maclaurin series expansion of a function f of x that is centered about the point x equal to 0. Take note, f prime here is the first derivative of the function with respect to x. So f prime of 0 is the value of that derivative at x equal to 0. The same thing here, f double prime, the second derivative of the function f of x with respect to x. So this f double prime of 0 is the second derivative of the function with respect to x at x equal to 0. This is the fourth derivative of the function with respect to x at x equal to 0, and so on and so forth. So let's apply this theorem now to solve some problems. All right, this is the first question I have. Express f of x equal to e to the power of 3x as a series of ascending powers of x. Let's go ahead and expand e to the power of 3x using the Maclaurin series theorem. We are given that f of x is equal to e to the power of 3x. So I will have to look for f of 0. In place of x, I'll write 0. e to the power of 3 times 0, which is e to the power of 3 times 0 is 0. And of course, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Now, I will differentiate f of x, which is f prime of x. The first derivative of this function with respect to x. So differentiate e to the power of 3x. That is actually 3e to the power of 3x. Okay, using the shortcut principle for chain rule, differentiate 3x is 3. So just use that 3 to multiply what is outside. And that's what we have here. Okay, then we write the function. So what will be f prime? of 0. In place of x here, I'll write 0. So this is 3e to the power of 3 times 0 is 0. So I have 3e to the power of 0. e to the power of 0 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. We'll determine f double prime of x which is the second derivative of the function f of x. We'll now differentiate 3e to the power of 3x to obtain this, all right? Just like the principle of chain rule that was used here, 
differentiate 3dx to get 3 use the 3 to multiply what is outside that will be 9 then we write the function so we have f double prime of 0 that will be 9 e to the power of 3 times 0 that's 0 so we have it as 9 so f triple prime of x will be differentiating this function to obtain 27e to the power of 3x. 3 times 9 is 27. So what is f triple prime of 0? Actually, it's going to be 27 because we have 27e to the power of 0. e to the power of 0 is 1 times 27 is 27. All right, so the fourth derivative of f with respect to x, what would that be? Differentiate 27e to the power of 3x, and that would be 81e to the power of 3x. Okay, so we can determine this now by plugging 0 for x here. And that will be 81e to the power of 0, which is 81. So we can go on and on to differentiate this very function and get their values at x equal to 0. But let's just stop here, okay? Let's stop here. So what is the Maclaurin series of e to the power of 3x? Remember the theorem that says f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x f prime of 0 plus x squared f double prime of 0 all over our what? 2 factorial plus x cubed f triple prime of 0 all over 3 factorial plus x to the power of 4 all over what? 4 factorial and so on and so forth. So let's plug in our values now to obtain the Maclaurin series expansion of e to the power of x. What is f of 0? f of 0 is 1. Yes. So we can just put 1 here. Plus x times... What is f prime of 0? It's 3. 3 plus x squared times f double prime of 0, which is 9. So that is f squared times 9 all over 2 factorial plus s cubed times f triple prime, and that's all we have here as 27. all over what 3 factorial plus x to the fourth power times this and this we have it as 81 all over 4 factorial and so on and so forth simplifying this we have 1 plus 3 times x is 3x 9 times x squared is 9x squared all over 2 factorial 27 times s cubed 27x cubed all over what? 3 factorial 81 times x to the 4th power 81x to the power of 4 all over 4 factorial so we can go on and on so we have succeeded in expanding e to the power of 3x in ascending powers of x. Let's expand cos s as a series of ascending powers of x. We are still using the Maclaurin series theorem for expansion. Okay? The function we are giving f of x is cos s. Good. So we have to get f of 0 which is cos 0. Cos 0 is actually equal to 1. Now, let's differentiate to get f prime of x. So, 
differentiate cos x to get minus sin x. So what will be f prime of 0? That is minus sine 0. Take note, sine 0 is 0. Minus 1 times 0 is still 0. So what is f prime prime of x, which is the second derivative of this function with respect to x? Differentiate f prime to get f prime prime. The minus is a constant. Differentiate sine x to get cos s. So the minus will now make it minus cos s. So what will be f prime prime of 0? That will be minus cos 0. Remember we said cos 0 is 1. So minus cos 0 is minus 1. What is f triple prime of x? To get that, we have to differentiate minus cos s. Differentiate cos s to get minus sign. Okay, the minus here will make it plus sign because minus minus is a plus. So the derivative of minus cos s is actually sign x. Take note, we are differentiating with respect to x, all true. Now, what is f prime prime zero? That will be sine zero. So sine zero is equal to what? Zero. What is the fourth derivative of f with respect to x? Differentiate the sine x to get cos s. And so this will be equal to cos zero, which is equal to one. f to the fifth power of x is differentiate cos x to get minus sine x and so f to the fifth power of zero is equal to minus sine zero and that's zero so let's differentiate for just one more time to obtain f to the sixth power of x this is wonderful i'm doing it up to this extent because of these terms that are zero that will disappear in the expansion Yes, only these ones that have 1 minus 1 will remain. So differentiate minus sine x, we are going to obtain minus cos x. So what will be f to the sixth power of 0? That will be minus cos 0, which is equal to minus 1. So we can go on and on to differentiate and look for their value at x equal to 0. But let's stop here. This is the Maclaurin series for f of x. So let's get the Maclaurin series now for cos x. f of 0, we got f of 0 as 1. Okay, so f of 0 is 1 plus x times, this is the x. f prime of 0 is 0. Okay, x times 0 plus x squared f double prime of 0 is minus 1 times minus 1 all over 2 factorial plus x cubed f triple prime of 0 is 0 let's just go ahead all over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4. The fourth derivative of the function at x equal to 0, that is f to the power of 4 of 0, is 1. All over 4 factorial, plus x to the power of 5. This is actually equal to what we have here. That's 0. So this is 0 all over 5 factorial plus x to the power of 6. Then this is equal to what? Minus 1. All over 6 factorial. And so on and so forth. So let's simplify finally to get the Maclaurin series expansion of f of x, which is cos s. 
this is 1. This we cancel out 0, 0, 0. Okay, so we have 1, then minus x squared all over 2 factorial. plus x to the power of 4 all over 4 factorial minus x to the power of 6 all over 6 factorial. Okay, so we can actually say what the next term will be based on this expansion. It's going to be plus x to the power of 8 all over 8 factorial the next one will be minus x to the power of 10 all over what? 10 factorial. We have succeeded in expanding cos x in ascending powers of x using the Maclaurin series. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share this video to your friends and your course mate. Keep watching. Keep following. I will see you in the next video.